Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the super man of YouTube. We are about to hop into the first episode of my series for NBA 2K14 tutorials. This episode is going to be on jump shots, so let's hop into it. Alright you guys, the first thing that we're going to jump into is the jump shot. Just a simple move. One little thing about this. You don't have to press LT anymore. You guys can see that LT is lighting up when I press it up in the top left hand corner. So all you got to do is look at the top left hand corner when I do press whatever button. But the jump shot is very simple. All you do is hold the right stick in any direction to shoot. Now I know a lot of people used to do momentum shots to shoot. May it be left or right. But now you can't do it that way. All you do is just hold the right stick in any direction. Some people even like using X to shoot. Me, myself, I'm more of an analog guy. I've been using the analog for a while. So, you know, I'm just used to shooting that way. So, I'm just going to move in, shoot a nice little jump shot, release. It was excellent B-plus quality. Don't know why I missed, but it's 2K. Now, we're going to go over the spin shot next. Now, the thing about the spin shot, there's no more double tapping B. You guys can see in the top left hand corner that the B button is literally lighting up and nothing is happening. The player is not reacting. The B button is now used for picks. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. But all you want to do is rotate the right stick around the player's back to do a spin shot. Now what's going to happen is if I flick the right stick, he's going to go into a spin move. But if I flick the right stick and hold it, he'll go into a spin shot. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to go over is the half spin shot. Now, some people may find this a little bit, I guess you could say difficult or harder, but it's not hard at all. The only thing that you want to do is you want to kind of flick the stick out, then spin it half. All right. So this is what, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to flick it out and spin it half, and then he's going to go into a quick shot. If you guys looked at the button config up in the top left hand corner, you would have seen what I did. I flicked it out to the right, spun it in a quarter circle, and then I just held it there. Now, let's go with the step back jumper. One of my favorite moves. Now, you can drive lateral to the basket, may it be left or right, but you have to hold the right stick away from the court. Now, you can't just hold it backwards while you're standing still. That's not called a step back jumper. You want to be moving. Now check this out. Nice little step back jumper. Very early. Bad quality. So let's go over to pump fake now. Pump fake, probably one of the easiest moves to do. Some people just like to tap X because it's easier. But me, myself, like I said before, I use the analog. So all you got to do is go like this. Just hold it up until he goes into his shot form. Now you can let it go at any time. It's no problem. But uh, let me do something. I'm going to go into step back jumper. I'm going to just show you guys a couple of the jump shots without it being successful. So that's the regular jump shot, right? Excellent quality. A minus. Don't know why I missed. A lot of standing still jump shots do miss. I will say that. A lot of people have been having more success with momentum jumpers over anything. So check out a, a little hop step jumper. Um, to do a hop step jumper, you have to hold RT and you have to be holding the momentum and then it'll just work. Momentum shots, you can stop and it'll go the other way. So I'm pressing left and then I'm pressing the analog the other way. Now you guys are going to have to look in the top left corner as I'm doing these moves because it's easier that way. So back to a nice little momentum shot. Now, let me see. Let's see what happens when I go lateral and then I press the analog forward. See, just momentum shots. That's all they are. Now, the spin shots, a lot of people are probably going to have the most problems with these because you can't double tap B anymore. But it's, it's really not hard, guys. It's really, really not hard. Trust me, it's not hard. Now, pump fakes. Now, I want to do the half spin. I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, yo, I hate the half spin. Why does it suck so much? So, let's do it. Out, half shot all right you guys have to remember that you flick it out where whichever way you want half i'm sorry <laughs> you got to go half and then you got to rotate all right half and then rotate never forget that if you want to do a half spin just flick it out and then rotate now i'm gonna show you why it doesn't work when you just rotate all right check this out when you rotate it no matter if it's half circle or not he'll do a 360 watch Ah, hold on. I'm sorry, lay up. <laughs> All right, let's try one more time. 
See? I rotated it half circle and he still spun all the way. See? He just spun. And you guys can tell from the left hand corner that I'm just spinning it halfway. And he spins all the way. It's crazy. But uh, I guess this is it for the shot tutorial. Um, I hope you, it helped you guys a whole lot. Um, you guys already know what the next video is going to be on. I'm going to be doing these things in order. But I will say this. If you want a better jump shot, you definitely want to pick normal release. Do not pick quick release because it does not work at all. It messes up your flow. It messes up your timing. Everything is off. So uh, this is IKC signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.